Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, January 13th, 2017. This week, how to digitally paint word art in Photoshop. I love the look of hand-painted and watercolored elements on digital projects. Photoshop makes it possible to get this effect without any of the mess. By making a few adjustments in the brush panel, you can make any word art look hand-painted. Here's how. Begin by loading a paintbrush into your software. Katie Pertit's Watery Spots Brushes and Stamps number 8 are a good choice for this technique. There are many other good choices in the Watery Spots Brushes line as well. If you don't remember how to load brushes into your software, refer to the Tips section of the Designer Digital's website for instructions there. The next step is to open a word art image and a new blank document in Photoshop. Get the move tool and drag the word art onto your new document. Next I'm going to get the word art document out of the way and maximize our new document that has the word art on it. There we go. Okay, the next step is to hide the background layer by pressing the little layer visibility icon on the left side of the background. Then select the word art layer. Click the channels tab which is next to the layers tab over at the bottom right corner of the screen and this is where we'll create an alpha channel. Now you'll see several channels. You'll see RGB, green, red, and blue. Control click or command click if you're on a Mac one of the thumbnails to make a selection. Because this word art is black, it doesn't matter which channel we choose. Click Save Selection as Channel here down at the bottom of the panel. And this creates a new channel called Alpha 1. Select the Alpha 1 layer. Now click the Layers tab again to go back to the Layers panel and exit the Channels panel. You'll have a selection which looks like marching ants around your word art. At this point, the word art layer has a red tint. Delete the word art layer by just dragging it down to the trash can, and then create a new transparent layer by clicking the Create a New Layer icon next to the trash can. You'll still have a selection of marching ants around your word art, but go ahead and press Control Shift I or on a Mac system Command Shift I to select the inverse. That will actually select the words instead of the parts that are surrounding the words. Now choose a paint color by clicking on the foreground color chip and using the color picker to select a brush color and click OK. Get the brush tool and look in the options bar across the top of the editing window. From the brush picker, select the paintbrush that you loaded in the first step. Next, we're going to toggle the brush panel, which looks like a little folder with brushes on it, and it's next to the brush picker. Make the following changes in the brush panel that populates. First, click Shape Dynamics. Increase the size jitter and the angle jitter by moving the sliders to, oh, I don't know, around 25% or so. Now, click Color Dynamics. And in the color dynamics, make sure that apply per tip is selected. And then drag the hue jitter, the saturation jitter, and the brightness jitter sliders to the right. Make sure that the foreground background jitter slider is all the way to the left. And I leave purity at 0%. You just want to get a starting place at this point because you can come back and change these later to your liking as you're brushing. Next, tick smoothing, and then go ahead and close out the brush panel by clicking this double arrow at the top. Now go back to the options bar at the top of the screen and choose multiply. Next, drag or click the cursor over the word art selection, and as you do, the word art is painted. Just click and drag, or click, click, click. If you want more or less variation in the color, you can always open the brush panel again and make changes to your color dynamics. When you're finished painting,
press Control D or on a Mac System Command D to remove the marching ants. To paint again, all you would need to do is choose the alpha channel, so go over to the channels panel and control click on the alpha channel and then you'll get your marching ants again so that you can go in and make changes. Try this trendy technique to give your word art images a new look and style. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digitals tip.